defensive playmakers. That ability to switch everything and be fine is what made them so tough on the defensive side of the ball. For the finish, here's Irving. That ball's great assist by Love. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Down low. Here's Smith. Hangs. And there's the nice layup by Love. Now there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. I, I'm not even going to comment on that. Neither am I. I mean, if you're going to attempt a buzzer beater, I guess I, I will comment. Make sure there's actually a buzzer to beat. Tries to save it. Mozgov kicks to LeBron. Smith drives in. Down low. Soft touch off the glass. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense from the interior today. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Last season, Draymond Green taking over the starting power forward role in Golden State. Last season, David Lee was injured, remember, in preseason. Green was inserted, uh, and he's been terrific ever since. Absolutely superb. A former second-round pick, his emergence has fueled this team's rise to greatness. LeBron kicks to Love. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Love's got five points so far. Back at you. I mean, they immediately get those three points back. Trading spray guns from long range. Trading blows from behind the arc. And, and I, I really have always felt Draymond Green was one of those unique players. I mean, he, he kind of a tweener in terms of that small forward, power forward at, at only 6'7". But he's got toughness. The long arms enable him to defend bigger guys. And, and also the basketball IQ. You, you can never discount the importance of understanding what you're doing when you're on the floor. Golden State's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. For the Cavaliers. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Mozgov. And it's Shumpert in there for James. Love outside. The feet to Shumpert. And it's blocked. But they'll get another chance. And another miss by Cleveland. Well, I tell you what, that's fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. The key there was not to give him much space before he took that shot. And really, Clark, that's the only way you're going to stop him. The defender was all over him with a hand right in his face. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. Irving's got the ball. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. That's losing basketball. Especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That's a nice lead now. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. This is it to Thompson. And it's sent back by Spates. And now, running up the court, Rush pushing it all the way. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. 
And the Cavaliers with some changes. Jefferson comes in for Smith. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Kyrie Irving. Well, I tell you what, it was a really strong year for the Cavs. 53 wins for them, good for the sixth best mark in team history. A lot of those wins also came against the West, making it even more impressive. Thompson misses. Livingston, that's good. 40 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Delavidova. Makes it off the glass. And back and forth we go. That bucket gives us another lead change. Too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other shot for shot, play for play. It has been impressive. Here's Clark. He's got five. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Clark's got seven points. Here's Delavido. Got a piece of it. Jefferson with the three. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Warriors ahead, leading by just one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. That's an Iman Shepard slam. LeBron and Thompson are up front. Amon Shepard is up there with Matthew Delavido. And it's Jefferson in at the three spot. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Here's Rush. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Irving's checked in for Iman Shumper. Five on the clock. Barbosa kicks to Verizhal. And the rejection by James. Here's Delavino, guarded by Spates. Delavidova dishes to Thompson. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. And he gets it to go. And what a first year it was for Steve Kerr and the Warriors. It was the best debut as a new coach ever. 67 wins. He also established a franchise win total in his first year. And that's going to be a travel. Moskov, he's checked in for Cleveland. The Cavaliers leading. James kicks to Jefferson. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. On our old partner, Steve Kerr, also got a chance to coach the West All-Stars and Greg his record-setting debut season with the Golden State Warriors. Clark, he really hit a, a lot of big milestones early. Well, none of us are surprised at his success. No. I mean, Steve will be the first to tell you it was because he was surrounded by excellent assistants. I mean, that's one of the underrated aspects of being a good coach is you've got to have a good, good staff, point. and Steve has that. Excellent point. And he's really having all sorts of problems with his jumper right now. Yeah, big time. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all with a plot. No one near Smith as he lets it go. Osgood. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And great cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. Guys, that's the only way he knows how to do it. Soft, 
I don't even think is in his vocabulary. It's tipped. LeBron with it. Picked up by Thompson. It's LeBron with the drive. Second shot opportunity. The shot misses. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. And, and really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. Here's Curry with the three. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. Early on last year, it was clear Steph Curry was just on another level, was an MVP candidate right from the start of the season, and he would eventually be voted that award. And, and I thought very deserving. You, you could see how he elevated his play, and, and so many of us, and so much talk focuses on what he does offensively. But he was ahead of the snake of a terrific defensive group for Golden State a season ago, and that's one reason why he ended up being the MVP. Here's Delavidova. Here's Irving. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Again, Curry missing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And it's Smith penetrating. And James throws it down. I tell you, you gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his leaping ability, Clark, gives him a great advantage. And, and that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. It's either a dunk or free throws every time. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Cleveland. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard, playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. They need this. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Now here's Green after LeBron James's miss. On the wing, Thompson. Bogut kicks to Barnes. Screen by Bogut. Here's Green. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Green's got six. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. And it's James missing. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. You know, the Cavs last season won a bunch of games, but they had to fight for a lot of them. They often would fall behind early or dig a big hole and have to fight their way out of it. You mentioned GA, the Cavs, and their comebacks. They actually overcame double-digit deficits for 13 of their 53 wins last year. Yeah, and Kevin, I remember their biggest one being a comeback after being down 17 points. I mean, but when you have the star power that the Cavs have, no comeback is out of the question.